and it starts another video. This is exciting. So today <clears throat> we're going to finish the plywood roof, close in the gable ends with the T111, then it'll pretty well be framed structurally done. We still have a lot of blocking to put in in places. We'll do that once we get it secured and dried in so it can be inside out of the weather. Uh, ideally, the goal is to get the roofing on, so that's where we're headed. So we leave a two inch airspace up here, and uh, that way the entire ridge will breathe when we have all the plywood on. In our never-ending quest for safety, we're, uh, we're putting grade stakes down at the bottom to stop the ladder from sliding out, but because it's such a drop-off here and there's been snow cover, there's no frost, and so it's kind of really soft. So we're going to put an extra layer of protection here. We'll run a strap around this. Everything is twice as hard in the winter, <laughs> seems like. Very nice. Someone just asked about the ladders, how, how we hold them from sliding down. Uh, we use grade stakes, we pound them in. With that frost, it's a little more of a challenge to pound them in, but we do pound them in. Uh, on that further ladder, because it's such a drop off, we're also uh, tying it off into the truss uh, on a rung so it just can't slide down at all. Um, now we're going to go run that last course of roof wrap and staple it just along the, the bottom of it so that we can put the rest of the plywood on in the center uh, after we move the ladders. But we're, we're trying to do that as efficiently as possible. I'm 
Good there. Okay. We just have one more little strip to put on there. Now we'll go around to the back side and uh, there's just a dusting of snow we've got to sweep off safely. We had left, let me show you. We had left the trailer door down overnight. Actually it had been open since the day before Christmas. Uh, we closed, found, when we, when we got here yesterday, which was Monday, the day after, or Christmas weekend, uh, the door was down. Most of the tools are right at the back. Could easily have been taken, and they weren't. Pretty thankful about that. So sometimes we, we get all kind of messed up with the with dealing with the lift and just plain forgot about that. We're under control now, I think. Clean the roof off back here. This plywood didn't get wet at all. It's, uh, it's just the dusting of snow on top. It sweeps off just like that. There's a possibility of drizzle today. I don't know if we'll get that or not. So I stamped my feet off really well before I even try that. Then the... It has super, super grip. At least it's not like that uh, snow blizzard that we had at Al and, and Gina's at Lumna Acres. During the winter months, this is kind of something you run into. All of this plywood is completely dry. There's no ice except these two sheets, this, uh, this part here, and the second course that we had started uh, the day we set the trusses not going to walk out there but there's just like a thin thin layer of ice we'll put we can roll the roof wrap right over that and uh what little bit will will melt i can feel that it's going to warm it's warm enough today that it will melt so we should be in really good shape it'll be dry by the end of today providing we get the roof wrap on <laughs> So again, we'll staple about a foot up from the bottom. Yep. You good there? Yep. We don't staple down here at the bottom because when we get around to putting the drip edge on, I want that drip edge to go under so that if any water gets under the roofing and gets onto this, it will shed out beyond the drip edge, ideally. Okay, we have we are dried in. Just have to finish stapling off that bottom. It's a little icy over there, so we'll do it from the ladder uh, off the ground, basically. And then we're golden. This is the like the, the point I wanted to get to. So now we can kind of relax, getting the siding done, flashing in around that mudroom. It's a great day now. Great day. Great day. Great day. <laughs> Well, it's been a great day. We're going to put the T111 up now, uh, working our way up. They, they don't usually space 
the, those two by fours on gable ends to match necessarily what we do for framing, even though our framing is for a 24 foot building, should have been right on. Anyway, it, theirs isn't. So we have to adjust a little bit for it. Perfect. Uh, very nice. This will close out this video. Again, you can see uh, the room as it's developed. It's kind of wide open now. There'll be partitions in here. I want to go up and show you what it looks like upstairs. So here you can see this really big area. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with, with it. It's pretty spacious. Make a nice loft up here. Again, for Airbnb, I think this is going to be really nice. There's room for a couple of bedrooms up here, as well as one downstairs, a full bathroom, kitchen. It's just going to be really nice. So. Hope you enjoyed this. Sorry there's no drama today. Everything seemed to go okay. All right, so please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hit the like button, make a comment, tap the bell. Apparently a lot of people have been unsubscribed unknowingly to my channel. So if you're not, if you were and you're not, please do. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later, thank you.